Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a clean, declutter, and organize with me. We got a new washer and dryer so I decided to go ahead and do some deep cleaning of our laundry room and do some decluttering and organizing in there as well. I hope this video motivates you to tackle some things around your house today and gives you a little inspiration. Now go ahead and get your to-do list ready and give this video a thumbs up and let's start some cleaning. All right, so today's cleaning was actually over a couple of days. This was the first day and I was expecting our new washer and dryer to come in today. So before I get started on cleaning in the laundry room, I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up my bedroom. We have some clothes here and a suitcase that still needs to be unpacked from being out of town. And then once the guys get here with the new washer and dryer, as soon as they pull out our old one, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna start cleaning. Now. Our washer just all of a sudden went kaplunk and just decided not to work anymore. So that is why we got new washer and dryers. But I'll share all the details on our new washer and dryer as soon as I get in there and show them to you. Also, if you are already a subscriber to my channel, I know I told you guys that this video was supposed to go up on December 27th. I told you guys that in my last video. So I'm really sorry that this video is just now going up. I ended up getting the flu and did not account for that. <laughs> so I got the flu and luckily I was only down for about four days. And then it was Christmas and you know, all the craziness of that. So I'm sorry this video is a little bit later than expected, but I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and hopefully you have an amazing new year as well. Okay, so here's one last look at the laundry room before they took the washer and dryer out. And then once they took it out, I was like speed cleaning before they came to bring the new ones in. But look at this mess that was on the floor. It was disgusting. And that's always what happens when you pull a washer and dryer out. And my laundry room isn't that big, so it's really, really hard to pull them out and clean behind them, even when I'm doing like spring cleaning and stuff but this definitely makes me want to pull them out more often and clean. So really quickly, I wiped down the floors and I got a few shots of it as much as I could, but obviously you guys know it takes a little bit longer to clean while filming, so I got what I could and then cleaned as fast as I could before the new washer and dryer were brought in. So gross, but luckily I got it all cleaned and it looks so much better. Now they can put the new washer and dryer in and I actually ended up going with the exact same brand and model and everything that we had before. It's just the upgraded versions, but the washer drum is way bigger than our old one, which is so nice. There's so many different like settings and things on this though. And look at the inside, isn't it so pretty? Hopefully we can keep it looking like this, <laughs> um, but everything works the same. It's just there are a few different settings for my old washer and dryer and they are smart washer and dryers. So you can use the app from your phone and come up with your own like cycles and things like that on settings that are customized. I have not done that yet and I'm not sure if I will. And then here I'm realizing that we have to switch the door around because it's on the other side. So we chance did come in here and switch the door so that I can open it the opposite way. So it makes it easier whenever I'm putting clothes from the washing machine into the dryer. But this is just a little overview of the washer and dryer and I'll make sure to link them down in the description box in case you're looking for a new one yourself. I actually got a really good deal on these and, um, 
they were on sale. So hopefully they'll, st they'll still be on sale if you guys are looking for something too. But really quick, I'm going to go ahead and wipe them down. I will say with like the black, I do have to wipe them down more often just because the dust shows a lot easier. But it also makes me think like, oh, well, before when they were all white, I bet they were still dusty and you just couldn't notice it. So I do like that because now I take the time to clean them a little bit more often. Okay, so like I said, our laundry room is not that big and we did not have anywhere to hang dry any clothes. So I ended up getting these rods off of Amazon and they're just tension rods and they came in a pack of two. They're gold. They're so pretty. And so I decided to put these up in our laundry room right here between the wall and our cabinets. So that way we could at least hang because we don't have a whole lot of stuff that we hang dry, but a lot of times we have, you know, some delicates or um, like my daughter's cheer uniform needs to air dry. So I figured this would be perfect little space for just a few items that need to be hung to dry at a time. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is declutter and organize all of the cabinets here in the laundry room. So this is my cleaning cabinet, which I will say a lot of this stuff in here I don't even really use, or I have extras of over in my closet that's underneath the stairs. And so I'm gonna go through this really quick, get rid of a bunch of stuff, and only keep what I want to actually stay in the laundry room because I'm gonna be doing a lot of decluttering and organizing. I get the itch to declutter and organize at the beginning of every single year, which it actually hit me a little bit earlier this year. It was like during Christmas season, I was like, oh, I want to go through and declutter and organize everything in my house. But I really like to wait till the beginning of the year just because then, you know, Christmas is over, all the decorations are down and all of that. But because we had the new washer and dryer in here and I was doing some deep cleaning, I figured I would just go ahead and tackle the entire laundry room. So here you can see I'm just decluttering these cabinets. I'm going to wipe them all down and then I'm going to reorganize everything in here. But because I have the itch to declutter and organize, I'm also going to be doing a lot of other spaces around my house. And one of those spaces is our closet beneath the stairs because that's where I have ma majority of all of our cleaning products. But I have way more than we need. And so I do want to go through that stuff, donate some things to my friends. Um, you guys know I, I do a lot of cleaning on my channel. So a lot of times I even get sent things just to try out. And so I have an overwhelming amount of cleaning products that I don't need. So I can't wait to get into that closet and clean it out, declutter it and reorganize it so that it's not overwhelming every time I walk in there. But like I said, I have so many other spaces around the house that I'm gonna also be decluttering and organizing and I will definitely film it all so that you guys can get some motivation from it.
All right, so I have this little two-tiered organizer that I got for under one of the bathroom cabinets but never used it. It actually came in a pack of two, so I do have another one. So I might end up using that one in our guest bathroom. But here I'm storing all of our um, carpet cleaner products and our Tenco cleaning products and then a few other extras that I like to use here in the laundry room. And then I decided to put this Lazy Susan in here and put some of my most grabbed for items that I use in the laundry room right here on this Lazy Susan. Okay, so here is what this cabinet turned out like. I love it. So much more organized and definitely don't have a bunch of products in here that I don't use. Now moving on to this cabinet, we have some spray paint, which I forgot I had in here and I had been looking all over for this spray paint. I thought I had it in the garage and of course I went and bought new spray paint and then came in here to clean and found the spray paint. So. Definitely don't need the spray paint in here. It's going back out in the garage. And then I also have some lunch boxes. We keep our extra trash bags in here. No, these don't go to our um, actual trash can. These are just ones that we will pull out like if I'm decluttering or cleaning somewhere and we need a trash bag. These are the ones that we use. And then a few other things like dish soap, stuff like that. So I'm gonna just vacuum and wipe down these cabinets and reorganize them. And here is the next cabinet we're gonna organize. It is just a huge mess. We have so much stuff in here. It's just overflowing and a lot of random things that um, were just thrown in here and just need to go. So we're gonna go through all of this stuff, go through all these baskets and see if we can get rid of a bunch of this stuff. So this first basket is labeled sports. So we have a lot of stuff in here that the kids use for sports, obviously. A few of these things they didn't need anymore and then a few other random things were thrown in here that weren't supposed to be in here. So I'm cleaning this out. A ton of baseball belts that can go back up in Kaysen's room. And then we're just gonna keep the things that we need in here. So we've got some cooling rags. We've got some um, little ankle weights and tape for the ankle, like athletic tape, things like that. And then the next basket that we're gonna organize is our mass basket. So this is back when 
you know, we were quarantined and we had a bazillion different masks. So I'm actually going to get rid of most of these. I might keep a couple, but we're going to get rid of the majority of them. And then we had some extra tape for athletics. So I put some of that stuff back in there and then also bug spray and sunscreen. So I might need to relabel that basket sports as well. Um, I, did, I didn't do that yet because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do on there, but maybe I should just go ahead and relabel it sports. The next basket is our outdoors basket is what it's labeled. And we keep all of our gloves in here. We only need these during the winter. And honestly, we haven't even had to use them yet. So I'm just putting all these back in here. I also have some of those headbands that go over the ears. I like to use those whenever I walk and run um, when it's cold outside. So I'm putting those things in here and then I am going to take that bug spray and sunscreen and put it in that other basket that I just cleaned out. Okay, so this is going to kind of be our miscellaneous basket. I have some items that are extras for the car, so like extra car wipes and also car cleaning putty and then I also put some extra hand sanitizers and hand soaps that we like to take with us whenever we go on vacation somewhere so that's just kind of a miscellaneous basket I don't know what to name that one what should I call it miscellaneous I don't know um, I didn't put a label on that one yet either but I did turn it around and now I'm going through all of our bags so these are a lot of our shopping bags and I'm just gonna kind of organize these so that we can put them back at the top of the cabinet. Right, so here's a look at these two cabinets now that they're both organized I feel like it's so much better I know where everything is and I even have some space for anything extra that comes in here that if I need to like pull from a separate room and it makes more sense to be in the laundry room then I can put that stuff in here and moving on to the cabinet above the dryer this is a bunch of random stuff as well we've got light bulbs we've got extra laundry detergent our mopping pad wipes, extra Dawn power wash. This is where we keep our coin jar, where we, you know, if you have coins in your pockets, we try to take them out and just throw them in here. We have our extra trash bags that are for the trash can in our kitchen, which is our simple human trash can. I love that thing, by the way. I love how you can actually store your trash bags inside of your trash can, and then these are just extras for refills. We also have our dryer sheets and our little tool that I was I used to get the lint out of the dryer to clean it out really good. So we're going to be reorganizing this and moving some things around and I'm also going to organize a few things into bins. So I ended up taking those trash bags out and putting them with the other trash bags in the other cabinet. And this is what it looks like now that everything is organized in here. The last cabinet that needs to be organized in here is right above the washing machine. And this is where we keep all of our laundry detergent and stuff like that. So we've got extra gain laundry detergent. We've got all of our spot cleaners and 
fabric softener, and then we also keep our iron and starch and stuff like that up here. Now, all this stuff up here at the very top, I need to go through all of this, and I decided to leave it up here for right now, but we keep all of our manuals and everything up here. I guarantee you there's a ton that I could throw away and get rid of because we probably no longer have some of that stuff, but I need to go through that and actually organize it. And I think I wanna put it into a binder or something just to keep it even more organized. And so I'm just gonna keep those up there for right now and I will pull those out another day and try to organize those and I'll film it as well. All right, so now all of our cabinets are clean, decluttered and organized and it feels so much better. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish cleaning in here. So I'm gonna dust and I'm gonna wipe down the cabinets, get the floors all clean, and even clean out the sink and the countertops. Now, I wanted to mention that at the end of this video, I am sharing that recipe that I talked about in last week's video. It's the crock pot buffalo wild wings garlic parmesan chicken pasta. Oh, that's a long recipe to say, but I filmed it and I wanted to share it with you guys. I know I've shared it in the past, but it is so good. We make it all the time and we even end up having so much leftovers that we usually end up freezing some of it and having it for another meal in a few weeks. So um, I'm gonna share that at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around for that recipe. I also wanted to let y'all know that I am currently filming a few videos for the next few weeks, which are perfect for the new year. The first video is going to be my new weekly cleaning routine video. I have completely revamped my weekly cleaning routine. I broke it down into four days of cleaning, and I also created some new weekly cleaning routine checklists, which if you can't do it in the four days, I have the weekly checklist for the four days, but if you can't do it in four days, and let's just say you only have one or two days a week that you can clean, I made a separate checklist, which would just be for anybody who maybe doesn't wanna follow the four days that I'm doing, and they just need a checklist for their week. So I've got a few checklists for you guys to be able to use. I'm gonna share that in my next video, and you'll even be able to print those checklists and everything for free. And we also created a new deep cleaning checklist too, which is like, a zone cleaning checklist. So if you're looking for a deep cleaning checklist where you can rotate through zones, I'm gonna have that available for you guys to download as well. And then my next video will actually be taking down all of the Christmas decor. I kind of wanted to do the weekly routine first just to give you guys a jump start on the new year. And it took me several days to get my Christmas decor down. So <laughs> I figured I would film that 
share that with you guys. There'll be all, you know, organization, how I organize my decor and everything. I'll show you guys all of that. So that'll be the second video for January. But I have other things that I am so excited to share with you guys throughout the month of January. I get lots of questions about my workout routine, so I definitely want to share that with y'all. My planner that I use, my, how I organize my life, basically. So all the things that you would think about, you know, organizing and getting yourself on a plan or a routine for the beginning of the year. So I'm gonna be sharing a lot of that stuff throughout January. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And also go follow me on Instagram or on Facebook because I will be sharing some Instagram reels and things like that, shorter videos that will also be geared towards all that New Year's content. So hopefully I'll get to hang out with you in tons of other places and not just YouTube. All right, the laundry room is so nice and clean. It feels so good to have this done and it smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell it through the screen. I am actually hanging up one of Gracie June's little cheer jackets so you can kind of see what it'll look like if we're hanging and air drying some items. And I am ready to wash our first load of laundry in our new washing machine. All right, so our first load of laundry was actually a load of towels. So I'm doing some powdered laundry detergent, some scent beads, and then I always use white distilled vinegar as a fabric softener, which you can also use to sanitize and deodorize. So this works as all of those things. So it's perfect, especially for towels. All right, so now I'm gonna show you this easy recipe really quick. Everybody in my family loves it. It went viral on TikTok. It is so stinking good, and we always have lots for leftovers. So basically, the first thing you do is throw in your chicken breast. I have three pretty big pieces of chicken, and then you use this Parmesan garlic sauce. It's the Buffalo Wild Wings brand. Dump all of that in there. Once that's in there, you're gonna fill up that bottle with heavy whipping cream and shake it while it's in the bottle and then dump it right there on top of the chicken. You're just gonna let that cook on high for four hours or you can do low for six to eight hours. Once your chicken is done, you're just gonna shred it up and it just kind of falls apart in the crock pot. And then I'm adding in a block of cream cheese. You can actually do this like earlier in the day when you're first putting your chicken in here. I just completely forgot about it. So I'm putting it in now and then I'm just gonna let it keep cooking until that cream cheese is melted. While that cream cheese is melting in there, I went ahead and started my penne pasta. I just cooked that on the stove like normal and then threw that into the crock pot with my chicken mixture, mixed it all up, and then threw a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there, and it is all done and good to go. This is seriously one of the easiest meals we make, and we love it so much. You can serve it with a salad or breadsticks or whatever else you wanna serve it with. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and got tons of motivation. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. You'll have an amazing week, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye. Thank you.